Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Death Trap Dungeon. I'm your Dungeon Master Darius. Last we left off, we were still in this uh, inversion tower place. Very confused as to where the hell I'm supposed to go if all the keys are um, locked behind bullshit. I guess I can't blame them, blame them for locking the keys behind bullshit, but here's the thing. Is that all the bullshit is uh, really bullshit this time around, in that we can get that gold key. We can. But I don't have a magic hammer to survive the area, well, theoretically survive the area after it. So... I'm kind of left in this situation that even if I manage to survive getting the gold key by luckily landing where I need to land, then uh, the problem persists that I'm dead because it's just there's no way for me to, you know, survive a buttload of golems. Not to mention it doesn't actually seem to give me the object I need in order to slay the golems. So... I don't know. I just don't know. So I've pretty much been back and forth through this place at least... I don't even know how many times now. And I really don't know which one of these switches is the switch that actually, you know, works. So I just kind of have to hope. Ah, here we are. Well, I got the gold key. And they don't seem to bother me none. Oh, hi, Mr. Rat Ogre. It would be a crying shame if someone were to stab you while being immortal. I don't know why I suddenly went Jester from Critical Role, it just... I don't know. Seems like a proper mocking tone. You know, ha ha, you can't touch me. Y'all dead? All seem dead. Alright. I don't trust this because the last time I had gotten a hold of one of them their keys it was a ha ha screw you folly folly room or did hitting that switch solve my problem the portcullis is locked Okay, I, I think I see what it is. That that switch had locked it, so as grabbing the silver one is made possible. So now I can actually go yonder. And then still be confused by this room. Because this is still trapped. I should still be dead. I mean, unless these... actually have some of use beyond just items. Maybe there's some sort of a flag. You know? Um, what I mean by that is, like, I have to have the key and have, out, have opened that door. Like, have the key and open the door. You know? I'm supposing that that's supposed to come down. Because, um, we've been here before. And us going down is a bad idea. Wait, there's a thing up there. Is 
Seems to be the only one that has it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, fire, fire. Burn, burn, burn. <sighs> okay. See, now I'm just lost then. Like, I assume that this was supposed to be some sort of a, um... Elevator mechanism. But are we supposed to go back up now? I don't know where there's other doors. My only other other thought is that now I gotta... Jump on the back of a flying tortoise. I don't think I'm supposed to jump on those ones, though. I think those ones are there for flavor. Maybe that one. I'm not sure. Hmm. And that's Dead Endsville. And hello, golem. It was annoying too, though, is that the golems can still push you. Rockman, golem, whatever. Same difference in this particular case in my head of not caring anymore. Sir, please. Not sure what that did either. Besides, spawn a second rock man. Okay, here's a gold key area. Oh, it's this gold key area. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. A little bit more understanding. Not really, but, you know, it's there. Boarding charm, health potions, excellent. Eh? Uh, okay. I think what I gotta do is I gotta try to hit that switch and run out before the elevator comes down, because otherwise I'll be squished. I need the gold key, it says. But I very much already have the gold key. There we go. Really? Didn't kill him? Alright. And now we press the switch again and go back up. I really do wonder how the hell you're supposed to deal with this guy besides just hope that you have a goddamn key. Because you can't destroy him. Or not the key, you know what I mean. Because that's doing nothing. Silver sword's doing nothing. Regular sword does nothing. So it's a giant case of what the frick. Not to mention that door is also locked, so... Are you a serious guy? I wonder if there's a decent way I can kill him. Probably not. Please go away. I mean, I think I could... Oh, come on. Is that a... Yes. Well, that was your own stupidity, sir. I think that worked. Excellent. One last dude trying to murder me. Okay, let me try to think. I can't even open this door. So that's annoying. 
Worst too is that I've got the things I need, but I don't. There hasn't been a save point pretty much since um, that first one. Okay, you run back over here again. Be all like, yeah, I don't trust this. Cause nah, I don't trust it. Yeah, this is where I'd gotten that key in the first place. So that's like the very first tower. Is one of these a secret path? I'm doubting. It's usually the uh, brick walls are secret paths. Like this one. <sighs> yeah, if I died to that, that would have been high levels of bullshit. So. Okay. Not sure if they expect me to jump off to try to get to that turtle. Yonk! Oh, hello. Can I... Can I not? Really? 32 is all I can carry of that particular laser gun? There we go. Okay. They hid it behind a goddamn secret door. Hmm. Not sure how I actually feel about that, but okay. You know what? It's fine. It was a dungeon delving thing in my bulb, so. You know, this is just one of those things. There's like, okay, I guess that makes sense. Alright, is this the exit? Please tell me it's the exit. It does not appear to be the exit immediately. Hello, sir. Uh-huh. I see how this is supposed to go. I pretty much got it figured out. It's just timing and directionals. I have to hit the switch, run back, hope I don't hit this wall, run back through, and I only have a short amount of time. Okay. And now, I think I can go through the room with the goddamn flamethrowers. Thank frickin' crap. Of note, I only have the health that I do- well, not the health, the items that I do right now because I said, screw it, after getting soft-locked, falling into that thing again. Oh, this is neat. I like flying turtle. Flying turtle is neat. Thank you, turtle. Where was I? Alright. <sighs> murder, murder, murder. And of note, too, I had it. I had the red sword there, but I ended up using it to kill something. Forgot what. Hello, sir. I see you're here for the pokey end of my stick. We like to call that a sword. Oh, yeah. It's been... <laughs> Took me forever to try to figure that one out. Don't know why. Oh, wait. I do know why, because this game's cryptic. Bullshit. But hey. 
Let's see if we can't uh, finish this area. Might even make this this video a little bit longer just so as we can get the frick out of here. Come on. Die, please. Die a little faster. I bet I should use the uh, big evil looking sword that I got in my inventory, but I don't know whether or not that spoilers. Probably be spoilers. That's adorable. About the only thing I've noticed that actually does end up stacking more than I thought is health potions. I'm not even sure why. I mean, you know, besides the desire to always have a health potion on hand. Hello, sir. Hmm. There's an arrow pointing this way. Evidently, that was a secret. Alright. Neat secret. You pull on the tapestry and it opens the chest. Probably gonna be one of the more straightforward secrets I've seen in this entire game. Sorry, rubbing my nose. I really should finish my coffee while I'm at this. I know you should probably be adding far more commentary to this game, but I mean, there's not much more I can add to it besides I was having a bad time, so I'm cheating. It's kind of like, um, what was it? Oh, man. It was like one of my favorite games as a kid. Now I can't freaking remember the name of it. Um. Damn it. 3D, Super Nintendo. That door's locked. Vortex, that's it, Jesus. I don't know why that took me a while to remember. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of Vortex in that fashion. It was fun as a kid, and I had the patience to beat it as a kid. Nowadays, it's just like... Bleh. Patience, what's that? Okay. That's where I ch changed everything that was in the area into... Chunky, cheesy, cheese. I get. I might guess they're rats. So I guess that makes sense. Hmm. If this door's locked, I can't go through this one now. Is there a way to open this? Or is there another secret? It's probably another secret that I have to go find. Maybe I got a bomb shit. Seems to be telling me, hey. Bombs. Nope. Not bomb shit. Hmm. Come on. Oh, there it is. Uh, this put me just before the iron room. I think it did. Oh wait. Yeah, I went up here. There was stuff trying to kill me. I still can't seem to open that door. That's that way that I've already been. So, this way? Yeah, this is the way I came from. Put the toidle and everything. Oh, wait. Do I have to go down there? There's an onk. Ah, uh, I see how it goes. Okay. 
You know, for a um, evil baron, I honestly it. Okay, for an evil baron, I wasn't really expecting the whimsy of uh, you know, flying turtles. But I guess he also puts into the employee rather um, questionably intelligent imps, so I don't know. Okay, so what the hell? That just... Mm. What the deuce? Oh, for the love of frick. Okay. I suppose that sort of should have been some sort of foreshadowing with the whole... Hey, here's a goddamn thing. Yeah, the, the secrets from before with the chest and whatnot. I think I recall a conversation about there being a tower full of robots. Ba -ba 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 -ba. This is kind of sounding like it. I'll be careful, I'll throw myself out of existence. Oh. Let me get, yep, all right. That's a, that's a dorps. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You know what? That just appears to be a bad time. I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna see if... Um, I'm gonna see if I can't get the hell out of here already. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Toil. I mean, this looks pretty finite. By now. Fire. Treasure. Buckshot. Do I care what's on the other side of this? Or is this one of those... I'm kind of rewarding you things. Kind of seems like it's kind of stocking, stockpiling me up. Stockpile me up, Johnny. Oh, hi. You again. You know what? It's fine, guy. That's fine that you keep on hunting me like that. I feel like this whole place is trying to kill me. I much appreciate it. Oh, hello, sir. How do I kill you? Oh, since you're so big, is it a, like, magic hammer sort of a thing? Yes. Well, that could have sucked. I've been working on the railroad, hitting all the automatons. Oh, hello. Just getting teleported all around. It's a little bit disorienting. Wait a second. What is this? this. I feel like I've been here before, but then again, most of these places have looked terribly the same. Ah, yes. This, uh, this absolute menagerie of explosions is totally what I would have assumed to be uh, a fair, fair fight. 
Don't know what that spell is. Uh-huh. Okay, seriously, where are all... Oh, okay. They're just upstairs. Got it. Okay, so is this the part where I can just leave? Or do I have to kill them? I think I have to kill them. That's fine. Uh, I got spells aplenty, I think. Excellent. One down. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that where I... Oh, hello. The giant metal scorpion. For good measure, of course. Tink, 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 tonk, tink, tonk. This thing actually hurting me? I'm not sure. Well, I say, is it actually hurting me? I mean, like, is it actually capable of hurting me? Also, what the hell? Did my hammer break? I think my hammer broke. Shit. Oh, wait, that's right. The first time I faced one of these things, a bomb blew it up. Don't remember how many bombs. Two. The answer was two. Uh... Did I want to take that elevator? Eh, I saw that I just saved. <gasps> Hello, turtles. Hey, up. Uh, sir? Hello? Oh, don't tell me I have to jump on top of them as they're passing me in the void. Oh. Did it! Holy crap. That was such a freaking long and convoluted level. I think my biggest problem with it, with it was um, thinking that there were situations that I could simply skip. Like, uh... Jumping down the different layers and whatnot, and then just not being able to do that. That was kind of bullshit. Uh, not to mention the absolute ridiculous amount of things in there that was just... Oh, hey, here's 20 Ratmen. Oh, hey, here's three Ogres. I don't know. It, it made me salty. But I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, it's the final level. Is it going to be as painful, arduous, tedious, and annoying as the last? Maybe. Am I probably going to keep the cheat codes on? Yes. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying the cheat codes. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.